Open Educational Resources Sustainability, which is a really important topic that I think we're all um, very interested to learn more about. And please do put your virtual hands together for Anya Nao, presenter today, who is here with us. So thank you very much for joining us. Um, over to you now for the presentation. I will keep an eye on the chat, so please do say hello in the chat and post any questions. Over to you. Okay, shall I start, Marin? Yes, please. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, sorry, just I am seeing my screen. I couldn't see your name or your uh, video camera uh, because when I share my desktop. Uh, okay, thank you for uh, the organizing the OER 23. Uh, I had a chance to participate in OER 10 in Cambridge, and now uh, I have a chance to participate as a online uh, in the OER 23. Uh, and for also, I would like to thank the organization uh, committee for accepting our scholarship uh, application. Uh, and today, I want to give. Uh, uh, information about our uh, study uh, which is conducted with my uh, doctoral students and her PhD thesis is a part of her, her PhD thesis about open education so sustainability um, <clears throat> and in my presentation uh, my agenda like this okay okay uh, I have a Four basic topic is the research background, research purposes, methodology, finding, and discussion. Um, as you know, uh, UNESCO in its action plan for 20, uh, to, uh, 2030 uh, emphasized the increased access opportunities uh, should be supported by the uh, measures to improve the quality and coherence of the education and training uh, in its declaration. And, and also, okay, in another report of the University of Chicago, again, it's calls on education institutions provide equal uh, quality, inclusive, and accessible resources for all in their own context uh, in their uh, 2021 report. And also, um, as you all know, uh, the United Nations uh, in 2015 announced the Sustainable Development Goals and the quality education to provide inclusive and equi equitable quality education and the promote, promote lifelong learning opportunities for all is intended in this uh, Sustainable Development Goals. There are uh, 17 dimensions in here and especially the quality of the education uh, is related to the, with our topic. And the key concept emphasized by international, the well-known uh, international institution in the call is point the OER, Open Educational Resources. And uh, as you know, OER has many advantages, especially it play a critical role in the emergency distance education process. And these are the key uh, concepts emphasize the accessibility, equality, quality education, and lifelong learning are the key concepts emphasized by the international institution. And uh, so OER is uh, important in their uh, international institutional uh, the highlighted point uh, has OER has many potential. Uh, although OER has a potential of a solution for this cause, but we know uh, from the literature and from practice OER has a um, sustainable problem and sustainability 
it has a phase sustainability problems, uh, especially in the long term viability uh, is problematic and we need success, successful models to support and creation and the publication of the OERs. Um, and most of the initiatives do not continue. So it, it's a sustainability, we can say it's a um, chronic uh, problem for the OER initiatives. So from this, we thought that um, in our research study, we should focus on the uh, sustainability. And um, as why they uh, defined OER sustainability as the continuation of the capabilities or strengths of OER projects to achieve their goals. And it has a two dimension uh, OER sustainability. The first dimension is the, the production and sharing of the content. The second one is the user's content uh, use and reuse. So we also, uh, we also, uh, the focus on the OER sustainability uh, in this two dimension. So in our, the, the, the big research, uh, we have a three research question. And uh, the first research question is related with the factors affecting sustainability and we, we determine the, those factors from the systematic literature. And the second one, especially in this presentation is related with the, this second one, uh, what strategies can ensure the sustainability of the open education resource in higher education? And the third one, and how are the, the strategies developed for the sustainability of open education source in higher education reflected in the practice? Um, so our focus uh, in our in this presentation is the second research question. And just I want to give a um, basic information about the OER in the Turkey uh, in the methodology part. Uh, in Turkey, uh, open education resource has uh, three different open education resource attempts. The first one is the nationwide OER project. The second one is the institution-based OER projects and initiatives. And the third one is the individual attempts. Uh, for instance, the national uh, wide OER projects, as you can see, we have a Turkish Academic uh, of Science. And it starts, and th this one, the oldest one, uh, it's about the 2009. Uh, or 10. Uh, we have a different kind of uh, courses in this uh, nationwide OER project. Some of the courses are translated from the MIT courses, some of the courses are originally uh, produced in the Turkey. Uh, so, although we have a, this kind of platform uh, in a nationwide and supported by the Turkish Academic Society, but it doesn't continue. Uh, okay, we can access the, uh, the course materials, but uh, there is no update in this uh, nationwide initiatives, or your initiatives. Another initiative in Turkey is the, um, the scientific and the developed by the Scientific and Technological Research Council of the Turkey. So, uh, in this project, <clears throat> uh, uh call for projects uh, for the uh, open educational resources. But unfortunately, the, after the first call, uh, there is no other call uh, about the, this program. Uh, it's not continue and we don't know uh, about the, the first call uh, project's results. So this project is also doesn't continue. Another uh, nationwide project is the uh, your course platform uh, we call as a uh, Council of Higher Education in Turkey. Uh, during the COVID pandemic process, uh, the the Council of Higher Education uh, opened the, all of the course materials of the Open Education Faculty in Turkey. 
Uh, we have a full open education faculty in Turkey. And as you know, Anadolu University, uh, Istanbul University, and Atatürk University, and Ankara University. And I am in the Atatürk University, uh, and we conduct the research in the uh, context of Atatürk University. And uh, okay, in, during the pandemic, this um, course portal or your platform is work a lot, but after that, uh, some of the resources are not accessible now and it's not updatable, uh, so it's not continued uh, anymore. And we have some institution-based OER initiatives and Middle East Technical University, another University, Ankara University, and Atlantic University also, also it, their own platform. And some kind of, uh, besides this, some kind of institutional uh, or individual attempts uh, about uh, over open education resource in Turkey. So I just, I want to give my, um, a little bit about the, my university context as you can see the Scotland and the Turkey. And here is the, the northeast part of the Turkey, the Erzurum, the Atatürk University is located. And it was founded in 1957. And, and here is the, our university. And this university uh, is one of the biggest universities in Turkey, especially it has a really wide campus area, about 8 million. Uh, Square meters, uh, and also just I want to give us some kind of uh, advertisement about our city. And here is the uh, very famous Palandekan mountain, and you can um, it's the quality of the snow and steepness of the slopes and length of the trail, uh, the the best mountain for skiing. And also I want to. Um, make a such kind of advertisement of my city. And it's very uh, easy to reach uh, this mountain. And in a five minutes, you can reach from the university. And this is the just basic information. OK, let's turn to the research. And in Atatürk University, we have a 20, uh, 71, sorry, 71,000 on-campus students. And we have also 425,000 uh, students in open education faculty. Uh, and in research context, in Atatürk University, we have different kind of um, OER initiatives. But basically, in this research, we focused on academics, it's a MOOC platform of the Atatürk University and open courseway platform uh, of the Atatürk University. And we have also three, uh, three other initiatives, uh, but it's very early stage uh, now. Uh, the, one of them is the open, um, open book uh, platform and open exhibition, e-exhibition, e-book, and uh, open scientific articles uh, initiatives. Uh, also, we have a uh, two of them. So, when it comes to uh, methodology of the, our research, we use a design-based research. Um, and in this research, as you can see, we have a three cycle. In the first cycle, uh, after it's completed, we create some kind of strategies, OER sustainability strategies. And after that, we implement those strategies, and some of them we can implement, and some of them we couldn't. And, and also, we again developed uh, strategies and implemented and strategies, and uh, the finally, we uh, look at the reflection of those strategies. And here we have a different we have a different kind of uh, resources, and we have a, we analyze the other OER uh, platforms uh, such as uh, Coursera, edX, Udemy, FutureLearn, and other open courseware platform, John Hopkinson, MIT, uh, Yale, and this kind of platform we also analysis uh, to. To, 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 to try to 
can create uh, strategies for the OER implementation. Also, we have a <clears throat> document review and we reviewed uh, more than 100 literature, uh, literature about the strategies. And also we have a, a strategy team um, uh, and it's, con uh, it's, it's a six person in the, the strategy team and all team members are working at Atatürk University and they know the university and also they have a expertise on the open education resource. Some of them has a publication, some of them um, conduct their thes thesis study uh, about the open education resource. And also we have an install installation team. Uh, this uh, team consists of uh, the expert who designed and initially initiated uh, this OER initiative in Atatürk University. And um, as you can see, we have a different kind of uh, sources for the research. <clears throat> so when it comes to our um, results, as you can see, this is the uh, result of our first research question. I don't wanna... Um, go into these details, but as you can see, we try to um, create a OER sustainability framework uh, by looking at the factors affecting the OER sustainability. <clears throat> and aligned with the, these uh, factors, we try to develop the OER sustainability strategies. And the research question two, uh, and here is the answer of research question two. And we have institutional and platform related and also course related uh, OER strategies. I would like, I don't wanna go into detail each, uh, each of them, but just I select some of them and I, I highlight it. And the first one, the first strategy I, I would like to mention about it is the, uh, to create a plan for the, course publication process before our study there is no uh, publication uh, course publication process for the uh, MOOC platform of the Atatürk University so we define the this process uh, step by step and it has a five step as you can see and this is the one of the strategy we apply another strategy we have a different initiatives in our universities, OER initiatives. So we collect all of the uh, and gather all OER initiatives uh, in a single platform. Uh, and you, as you can see, we have a, a open courseware and a MOOC platform, open scientific article uh, platform, ebook and e exhibition. And we all uh, collected to and come together to all. Uh, or your initiative in a single platform to make it more visible and more sustainable. <clears throat> and the another uh, our strategy was to increase the variety of the courses. Uh, to do this, we collaborated with different kind of uh, with different units of our university. And in one of the faculty, uh, management faculty, uh, we collaborated with them and we created um, courses, uh, KPSS courses. Uh, the KPSS in Turkey is a central examination uh, used for the determining the people who will be assigned as a civil servants for the first time uh, in the government. So this course is very important. After we uh, put those uh, course resources on our uh, MOOC platform, and as you can see, there was a very, um, uh, the, the especially user size, there was a, a number of users visited the uh, MOOC platform. So uh, as you remember, uh, the second part of the uh, sustainability, which was the use of resources, it has some effect of uh, those uh, usage. And another strategy, uh, is uh, another one is that the small strategy, although it's a small strategy, uh, but I think it's um, especially important for the uh, concern of the instructor. We 
uh, establish a notification mechanism for the copyright infringement. Uh, it's a, it's really small steps, but I think uh, it works. Uh, this is the notification mechanism for copyright infringement we integrated in our courses because most of the um, instructor uh, has concern about uh, copyright infringement. So uh, when they this kind of uh, concern, we say they them, okay, uh, don't worry about it. If you have um, copyright problem, if user reported us, we will let you know, and you will uh, clear the, this kind of problem, uh, this kind of uh, copyright problem, uh, and. This kind of small but important mechanism uh, make the instructor uh, safe, feel safe about the publishing their courses. Also, we thought that this also increase or as an effect of the sustainability. And also uh, another sustainability strategy is the uh, we add an instruction participation form. As you can see here, we at the, uh, some kind of a link in here and uh, other uh, instructor or other expert uh, who are volunteer to um, publish their courses in our platform, uh, they can contact. Before that, there is no this kind of um, mechanism. And lastly, uh, we are we plan to uh, share digital activities carried out by the different units uh, at the university as an OER. So uh, in our university, it's, as you know, as you can see uh, from the number, uh, we have a very big university. Uh, so there are many kind of activities going on. So uh, in this strategy, uh, we aim to um, for instance, record the um, conference uh, workshops and this kind of uh, or seminars, webinars, and to uh, we aim to uh, organize and put all those resources in the uh, OER platform of our university. Okay, as I said before, some of the we, we, we apply, uh, we, we, we can uh, apply some of the strategies and some of the strategies we could not. Uh, for instance, the last strategy we couldn't uh, apply because, as you can see, uh, which one is uh, established? No, I don't know. Uh, yes, this one. Lack of cooperation between the units and lack of OER team and copyright issues we couldn't apply, for instance, these strategies. But we also use uh, and apply some strategies. Some of them worked, and some of them we couldn't apply, or uh, although we applied, uh, we couldn't uh, see the results or um, uh, couldn't make a, a significant contribution to sustainability. And we, we in our third research question, which is not related with the, this, presentation but is related uh, is not the focus but is related with the, this presentation and uh, we also find uh, uh, some kind of evidence of the, this uh, reflection uh, reflection of the OER sustainability strategies uh, to do sustainability and here was the list of our uh, OER sustainability strategy and their uh, reflection uh, of our uh, study or sustainability. Okay, this is the end of the, my uh, presentation. Thank you for um, listening to me. And I would like to close my uh, presentation with the uh, very good expression from the Unisende. Uh, he is the uh, scholar of the uh, in the Turkey. He says, uh, whatever you share is truly yours, not the one you say for yourself. And thank you for listening to me. And if you have a question, I would be happy to answer it. Okay, just I have to turn back.
Okay. Fantastic. Thank you very much. That's amazing. Um, and perfectly on time as well, which we really appreciate. Um, there is, um, I think, definitely a few minutes now to answer any questions. So please do put in the chat. Um, we've had some really nice comments here as well. Paul saying hello. Katrina says, looks beautiful. So that's great. Um, please do type your questions in the chat. And um, I might start us off with a question while everybody's typing. Um, my question was really, what is your next step? Where are you hoping to take it next? Uh, our next step is to make it this research study as an international uh, international perspective. Uh, we have a plan to work with the COIA uh, mm -hmm. on open education uh, in the Oldenburg. Uh, maybe you know uh, Professor Olaf. Uh, we have uh, some kind of connection with him, and we want to make it this pro uh, project so next step as an international uh, project. Fantastic. Um, well, that sounds really intriguing. And I can see um, the participants in the room are from lots of different places in the world. So hopefully there's some interest um, in maybe potential dissemination or collaboration. Um, are there any other questions um, before we finish? I think we have just two minutes left. So okay. please do um, post any questions. We'll just wait here. Okay. Um, Donio also has a message and he says in Turkish çok güzel, which means very good. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Dani, Dani Leo. Uh, <laughs> Excellent. Oh, fantastic. Um, did you want to add anything else? Um, anything else you wanted to mention more about? We, we, as I say, we still have a moment before we finish. Okay. Uh, in Turkey now, uh, we are in Ramadan. Uh, I'm sorry because my uh, mouth is dry now. <laughs> so uh, we are fasting today and mm -hmm. we to open our fasting. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for uh, organizing this uh, oh. fantastic uh, event and also uh, accepting our um, scholarship request and open up your doors to present my our studies. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. And from everybody here at OER23, thank you for contributing to the conference. And to everybody in the room, thank you so much for joining this session. Um, I hope you um, enjoyed this really interesting presentation. Uh, the recording of the session will be made available later on. So if you want to revisit, uh, you can. And also, um, please head over to the social channel on Discord to continue the conversation. And also, if you want to share any slides um, or further interact, um, then please do. But for now, I'm going to say thank you again from everybody here um, at OER23, and hopefully see you online for further sessions.